Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will test out the new Flux USO model, which stands for Unified Style Subject Optimized. This model is developed by Biden's team and it is built on Flux One Dev architecture. It allows you to achieve both the style similarity and subject consistency while generating an image. This is what we used to do using IP adapter for SDXL. And today this model is natively supported in Comfy UI. So I will try to show you how you can uh, install it and use it using a custom workflow. So without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. On Comfy UI blog website, you can see that uh, there is uh, an article about this USO model and uh, that uh, there is the, some information about this model and also some highlights like unified framework, the generation method, uh, but also the multi-style support and uh, the layout control since you can preserve original composition of the input image. Okay, to get started, all you need to do first is updating Comfy UI, then go to the browse template in order to search for the Flux One USO workflow. But before that, you will need to download some additional model, starting with Flux One Dev FP8 version and uh, the USO Flux One LoRa, the model patch uh, USO Flux One, and also the clip vision. Once you have downloaded every model, and here you can see the location of uh, every each one. The Flux One Dev model goes into under Comfy Y root folder model, then enter checkpoint and make sure to paste it there. For the LoRa, do the same thing. It is a subfolder hidden under the model folder. And for model patches, once you updated your Comfy UI, you will see that uh, you have this model patch uh, subfolder. The same goes for the clip vision. And if you are running out of VRAM, you can uh, use the GGUF version of the Flux One Dev. Uh, it also works pretty well with this uh, model too. For my case, I am using the GGUF Q5KS version. And it works pretty well with my RTX 3060 with 6 GB of VRAM. Okay, if you go back to Comfy UI blog, you can see here some examples of this uh, Flux uh, USO model. It allows you to do some style uh, transfer using uh, one reference style image or you can also use uh, two reference style image. So once you have uh, everything, make sure to restart your Comfy UI and we are good to go. Okay, once we have the latest version of Comfy UI, in order to check that, make sure to click here, then go to Browse Template and on this section here, type in USO. You can clearly see uh, the, this workflow appearing here. Make sure to open it. And here we have the workflow. We have uh, technically two workflow, but we're gonna focus only on the first one. You can see that we have uh, to use the load checkpoint here for the Flux uh, One Dev. Here we have this LoRa loader model and uh, the, uh, the model patch loader the, uh, and also the load clip vision. All those nodes is gonna help us to load the downloaded model earlier. And this workflow is pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do here is following the steps. The step one is uh, gonna be loading the model. The step two is gonna be loading the subject that you wanna replicate. For example, here, I'm gonna take this picture of this man. And here, for the step three, you have the style reference image input. All you have to do is load any uh, style here, for example, this one. And, and uh, based on this USO style reference, it's going to try to replicate this first image here based on the style of the second image here. You can also see that we have another USO style reference nodes, which will allow you to mix uh, between two reference style image. But we will see that later. Okay. Once this uh, step is finished, the, the next step is the sampling steps where all those data are going to be plugged into the key sampler in order to generate the image. You can also see that we have this easy cache node here, which was uh, included recently during um, the last update. This easy cache node is similar to T-cache or wave speed nodes. It allows you to boost up your generation speed by avoiding some repeated calculation. You can try to disable it if you are not satisfied with the quality. However, if you want to gain some uh, additional time, uh, I strongly suggest you to leave it as it is. You can also play around with this reuse threshold by changing the value between 0 and 0 0.2. 
for the sampler here, you can see that we are using 20 steps, which is classic for this uh, Flux1 dev model. CFG is set to 1. And the sampler name, we are, we are using a Euler with a simple scheduler. Okay, once it is done, it's, the image is going to be decoded and save it. But if you're having a low VRAM PC graphic card, I strongly suggest you to use my workflow, which is uh, more optimized for this task. Let me show you here. As you can see, it is practically the same workflow at the exception of this load models here. I'm using the GGWF loader. I tried with the Nunchaku version of Flux1. It doesn't seem to work for now. However, the GGWF uh, loader model is uh, perfectly matching this uh, USO uh, style transfer. This GGWF loader is plugged to this LoRa loader model only. Make sure to select the USO Flux LoRa that we downloaded. I also added a second LoRa loader and selected the Turbo Flux LoRa. This way, I am able to use less steps compared to the original workflow. I am here setting the steps to 8. Then all the other models are practically the same for the clip loader uh, and uh, the clip vision, the model patch loader. However, you also you will also need uh, to use the load VAE nodes, and uh, you need you need to have this uh, Flux VAE model in order to decode and encode your images. This workflow is more organized and more simple to use for the low PC graphic card users. As you can see here, I also added uh, for the step two the Florence to run uh, image to text in order for you to use it more properly and uh, it is a one click solution workflow all you have to do is selecting the main image then selecting the style reference image and click run the auto prompt is going to be generated directly without uh, doing anything and the sampler here is going to generate the image more uh, rapidly compared to the original workflow since we are using only eight steps and here you can see the results of my first generation it took me around uh, 100 uh, and 90 seconds using this configuration which is uh, quite fast for uh, this type of task and if we take a closer look uh, to this workflow you can see here that we have the main image that is upscaled using this image scale to max dimension uh, on the workflow there is a node here which talk about this image scale to, uh, to max dimension you can clearly see that if we set uh, if we set this to a higher value the character consistency is going to be modified. However, setting this uh, value to 512 is the recommendation for the USO team since it allows you to preserve uh, the character consistency. You can also try to increase it to 1024. It's going to give you uh, better results. However, the consistency is going to be modified. And I think we can build a custom workflow specially dedicated for this task, which will allow you to use a higher resolution while keeping the good consistency of the first image. So for now, let's leave it as it is. Then this image is gonna be upscaled. Once uh, this image is upscaled, it's gonna be encoded here using this VAE encode. That's why I told you about this load VAE node. It's gonna help us to encode this image. And here we have our USO reference conditioning, which is gonna take into consideration the generated prompt using the Florence to run and the latent of this VAE encode image. Then this is gonna be translated into the positive prompt uh, on the key sampler. And here the conditioning zero out is gonna be our negative prompt for this key sampler. The model is blocked uh, when we have the LoRa model uh, combination. It is plugged directly into this USO style reference. So it's gonna use not only the clip vision, the image, the model patch, but also our Flux model. If you are bypassing the second USO style reference, it's gonna be plugged into this easy cache to get more speed. And the easy cache output is gonna directly be plugged into our key sampler. As for the latent here, you can see that added uh, this MTSD3 latent, which allows you to set your resolution. All you have to do here is setting up your style reference image, adding your main image, then click run. It is as simple as that. And this workflow is well optimized uh, for uh, the low v VRAM graphic card PC users. So you will not uh, have to bother yourself too much. Okay, so for my test, I used this uh, input image of this black man sitting on uh, subway. And I tried different style reference image. And here are my results. For the first one, you can clearly see that the composition and the details of the main are preserved. 
and the style is well transferred too. However, we have still some artifact like here. You can clearly see that it's given us some bad results. As for the face, it is uh, quite acceptable face here. The next uh, result is, uh, was done using this uh, style image. And you can clearly see that it is well uh, represented at the exception of the background details. Here you can clearly see that we have in bad results. The face doesn't look quite good. So sometimes this model is giving us uh, some hallucinations and uh, we will try to fix that later. The third example here, it is well represented with this painting style. The same goes for this Minecraft style uh, image. The character is well preserved and the style is uh, acceptable. Here we also have a good style transfer. However, the background details doesn't look quite good. And it is practically the same for all other images. Sometimes we have bad face results, but the style is always well transferred. So to fix that drawback, I add another key sampler here with the eight steps parameters, CFG set to one and uh, the sampler name of Euler. However, for the denoise value, I set the uh, value between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. It depends on what you want to obtain. So uh, if you want to get uh, higher fidelity, I strongly suggest you to use the 0 0.3 value. And this key sampler is taking this uh, first uh, key sampler latent. Then it's gonna create uh, an image based on the first one. And to do that, I also use the, the Nunchaku Flux version. However, it is uh, set to not a context, which is set to Flux uh, Crea Dev Nunchaku. This uh, model is then plugged uh, directly into this LoRa loader for Nunchaku uh, as well. And we are using the Turbo Flux LoRa in order to get uh, good results at eight steps and you can clearly see the necessary time for uh, this nusha conversion to get uh, the second results it is 12 seconds so it is pretty fast and can give you good results and the main reason behind the flux crea is it allows you to create more uh, face details and the uh, skins uh, looks more realistic as you can see here the main difference is uh, pretty uh, obvious the face uh, have, has more details and the details background is uh, improved uh, slightly. So if you struggle for having good details, you can use this method uh, in order to reduce uh, the low uh, detail, face details generated by this uh, model. You can also bypass this uh, USO style reference, the second one, and combine multiple images in order to get uh, uh, unique results. For example here, I used the uh, Van Gogh painting to get this uh, first image of this lady. Then using the second uh, UFO style reference, I combined an anime style with the painting uh, style images in order to get uh, these results. So what it did, it mixed it between the painting style and the anime style in order to obtain these uh, results, which is quite impressive. However, we're still having some issue here with fingers and uh, if you having this results you can try the double key sampling uh, method uh, maybe it will try to fix uh, this uh, fingers issue okay that's it for today tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a patreon member of my patreon page where you can ask me to build a custom workflow for your needs you can also get early access to my workflow so thank you